Hey guys, welcome back to 5 Minutes with the Technician. My name is Daniel. So today, I want to show you how to create a drain board on your Sasso K600. Let's go. Alright guys, so today we're going to do a drain board. Okay, I get this question all the time and uh, we might as well make a video for the guys who want to do it. So, I have done this personally and this is the method that I'm going to show you works uh, it's a little bit more complicated than other methods I've seen but I have not tested those so this method I have actually ran in person and it worked just fine so anyways first thing we, we want to talk about is tooling okay so before you even get started with a drain board you probably got to have the right tools okay if you've ever seen a drain board you'll see like the channel is round okay so the actual drain isn't square like a normal finger bit it's actually round so what they call it they call that is a ball end okay they call that a ball end incremental cutter okay so that's the first thing we want to set up in alpha cam is a ball end okay so if we go to the top right hand corner of our alpha cam screen you should have a command search up there you want to type in define okay define and then you want to look in here for tool you can do space tool define tool that's the one you're after so after this opens up, you'll see right here, I've got the ball end, okay? So if we click on that, now we need to set this tool up, okay? So for any incremental or finger bit, you know, is what I should say, uh, the tool number is two, okay? And the offset number is also two, okay? The length, you would have to physically put it on the machine and measure it to figure out what your length actually is. Uh, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be like seven and a quarter. The diameter, Honestly, I have no idea what size a ball end is. So I'm just going to say maybe half an inch. It might be three quarters of an inch like a regular finger, but honestly, I don't know. Um, you know, if you figure it out, let me know. I'd be curious. But uh, at any rate, moving on. So the spindle rotation, that needs to be set to counterclockwise. CCW, okay, counterclockwise. Uh, depth of cut, we could just make that like 0.1. Maximum depths, we'll just make that like two. Honestly, our alpha cam doesn't really use these parameters. Uh, okay, now we're going to set the fixed feeds. So we're gonna go feeds and speeds, click on fixed. Set your spindle speed to 4,500 uh, or whatever your manufacturer recommends. Uh, check with your tooling rep to find out. Fixed feed, uh, I would take a wild guess and say maybe we could run that at 50 inches per minute. And your fixed down feed, um, let's be safe, let's run it at like three. Um, so if it's a little skinnier, sometimes you wanna run them slower. Okay, um, yeah, that looks good to me. So we would just click okay, boom, and now we're gonna give it a name. So we could type in ball end, boom, clever. All right, click on save. Okay, all right, so we're done with this screen. We can close out of that. If we went back to select tool, you'll see there's our nice little ball end bit. Boom, awesome, beautiful. Okay, so I've got my project drawn. So to actually apply this, the first thing we need to do is we need to change our drain board section. We're gonna change that to construction. Okay, so we'll go to change. We're gonna go from geometry to construction. Go ahead and click okay and select these bad boys right click okay now that's done now we can proceed so we're going to insert our table sure 3cm why not and we're going to click cut parts process it just like normal so cut parts again awesome okay all right so there we go beautiful so now what we need to do is we actually need to create a machining style for these are actually like four or five different machining styles. And uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I click on machining styles, uh, normally this is gonna be closed. It's just gonna be this little, little folder on the left. If you click on the arrow, or I think you just double click this, these open up. Usually they're like this. Uh, we can use pretty much any of these, uh, 2CM or 3CM. We can't really use auto. So I guess technically that was kind of a lie, but um, anyways, let's go to 3CM. We're gonna go 3CM partial, no lead in, okay? So we're gonna right click on that and we're gonna copy that style. So here's my copy. Uh, one thing we wanna think about is the final depth, 
Okay, so let's say maybe, maybe we want, I don't know, a quarter, 0.2, let's do 0.2, that'll be easy. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and right click and I'm gonna rename this style to 0.05, okay? Okay, now um, just bear with me. Okay, so 0 0.05, that's our very first pass. So one thing I don't think I've mentioned is when we're doing a drain board, we have to kind of create the steps with machining styles. So we're gonna apply one for 0 0.05, then we'll apply one for 0 0.1, and then 0 0.15, and then 0 0.2, you know, until we get to our desired depth. Um, that is the most foolproof way that I've figured out how to do drain boards. Okay, so just bear with me here. If we open this up and right click on roughing pass, and then go to edit operation, we need to change the tool. Okay, so right here it says finger bit. We're going to click on change tool and we're going to select our ball end. Okay, double click. You'll see I have it attached to my mouse right now. So if we went into a 3D view, you'll see, oh, there's my little ball end. Okay, left click. Go to your levels and cuts, and let's change our final depth. So we want to do this one at 0 0.05. So negative, okay, negative 0 0.05. It's very important you get the negative in there. Um, remember, in our software, zero is the top of the stone, and we're going negative down into it. Okay, so negative 0 0.05, go ahead and click OK. Awesome. Uh, let me go back to that real quick. Uh, ah, I forgot to change the number of cuts. <laughs> number of cuts, sorry. Uh, number of cuts, change that to just one, okay? And stock to be left, you can change that to zero. Now we're actually done with that one. Let's do that a couple more times. So we're gonna right click on 0 0.05 this time, that one that we just made, and we're gonna copy that style. Okay, so there's our copy. We're gonna rename that one to point one. Boom. If we go into this one, right click on finish pass, edit the operation. We just need to change this to point one. Okay, great. And we can right click, we can copy that style, open that one up, edit the operation, and this one is going to be point one five. And actually I gotta rename that real quick before I forget. Point one five. There we go. Right click, copy the style, rename it. This one will be our point 0.2. That'll be our final depth. So this is the last one. So bear with me just a sec. And our final depth, point 0.2, negative point 0.2. Okay, awesome. So now we have those all done up. Beautiful, sweet. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to these. So what we're going to do is we're gonna change these back to geometry. So we're gonna click on change, go from construction to geometry, click okay. And honestly, we could just work with, you know, in one if we really wanted to. Um, we don't actually need all of them because we're just gonna build one out, get it the way we want it, and then we're gonna copy it over the top of the other ones. So I think this is fine. Right click, click on apply. Boom, so I went to, now I'm gonna do my point one. So I'm gonna right click on my point one, apply, and I'm gonna click on these babies and we're gonna get them applied here. Point two, boom, 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 there she blows. All right, so there we go. We got four steps to get to our desired depth. Okay, so now the thing about a drain board is it's at a slope, right? So uh, we gotta put that in here real quick. So what we're going to do here, what we're going to do is we're actually gonna create our slope right here. So in the search in the top right hand corner, we're gonna get rid of define tool and you're gonna type in edit Z, okay? So edit Z point by point. That's the tool we're gonna use to create that slope within AlphaCam. So go ahead and click on edit Z point by point. Down at the bottom of my screen, it says pick the tool path. So I'm just gonna pick this top one. Uh, okay, just go ahead and acknowledge this error. It's not really an error, it's just a warning. Click OK. Okay, now it says pick point on path or in circle. Great, just go to that little circle there, click OK, and here we go. Um, you could do it at zero. You might have a little bit more success if you do it at uh, like 0 0.01. Uh, not negative, just 0 0.01. Um, and I'll tell you why. I've done them at point 0, and I I always find that there's like a little, if you get your Z heights 
a little bit wrong and stone is never perfect um there's always like kind of a a lip i guess so if it was me i would try it at 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 basically you're just creating it so when it gets to the top of the stone it's going to come out just a touch okay and it'll kind of smooth out where that ending path because on the ends i always see it where it's got like a little i don't know a little bit of depth right at the end it's not a smooth uh, ramp out of the stone it kind of like has a stopping point so for me i'm kind of like you know ocd uh, i would try to run it at 0 0.01 but uh, honestly you could run it at 0, .0. It'd probably just probably that's probably me being like a little nitpicky honestly so um anyways 0 0.01 let's just run with that so you can see right here this gap this is where it comes up and out of the stone it looks like a lot but 0 0.01 is like what like less than a 64th um so it's not a ton uh, okay, let's go back. So I right clicked to, you know, accept that movement. Now we're going to click on edit Z point by point again, click enter, and we're going to pick our tool path, click the circle, go back to 0 0.01, not negative, just 0 0.01. Boom. Do the same thing. So I'm going to hit the space bar to bring up my, that last command, that edit Z point by point, And I'm just going to do that to the rest of these. Hit the circle. 0 0.01, boom, space bar, hit the circle, 0 0.01, boom, there we go. All right, so now we've got this nice little freaking ramp here draining into our sink. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, let's see how this looks in our simulation. Dun, 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 dun. Um, yeah, we'll just hit play. Let's speed through this. So. Okay, that was pretty fast, <laughs> but uh, you get the gist. Okay, so there it is. Nice little nice little ramp there, nice little drain. And um, okay, so there's one now to do the rest of them. Okay, because we got one. I'm trying to do like five or something, or I don't know, however many we got here. What we're going to do is uh, we're actually going to just make a copy of these. So I'm going to take C on my keyboard. I'm going to hit C, and I'm going to... Select this guy, right click, and honestly, you could do both. I don't know. Um, as original with tool sorting, sure. I don't even know if this is sorted the way I want it to be, but uh, I'm just going to make copies all the way down this. It's kind of hard because uh, the ones that I'm dropping are the same colors as construction. All right, there we go. But we'll look, in it, look at it in 3D, and you can see there are our ramps. Sweet. Okay, last thing I need to talk to you about. So, as you can see, our ball ends are way down here, okay? We need them to be up here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come in here, and we're going to move them up this list. Boom, boom, boom. You could, you could do them first thing. You know, you could bring them up there. Awesome. You know, I think that's probably the way that I would do it. Because right now you have two different... Two different tools so the first tool is going to come it's going to ask you for the ball end slap that on press play it'll run that then it's going to come back it's going to ask you for the finger bit put that on cut your finger bit cuts and then uh, after that it's like normal it's going to ask you for the blade slap the blade on and finish the cut batch so there we go let's see how this looks real quick Brr, there's our little ball end speed it up baby So if you look at the motion here, you can see what it's going to do. It's going to take a while because it's got to go up and back and up and back and up and back. Um, but it's only going a quarter inch deep. I mean, and I don't know. This would probably take forever by hand. So I think it's pretty cool. And it's, uh, you know, accurate. There we go. Beautiful. Anyways, um... So that is pretty much how I would do a drain board in AlphaCam on a Sasso K600. Uh, like I said, uh, I've done this in person with incremental cutters. This is the method that I use. If a customer, like, you know, if I'm with them and they say, hey, let's do a drain board, I'm like, okay, this is how I would do it. Um, I've seen other methods, but I haven't tested them. This one I've actually tested. so. Feel free to uh, like, comment, subscribe.
Let me know how it went. All right, guys. Thanks. Peace.